Well met, Rook. I did tell you I had my ways. The Alluvians and I would think Mythal. The two gods have always first when then when wait. Think upon it. When Mythal's yet she so So if Mythal was originally a spirit, maybe that's how she survived her body's death. Very good. Mythal was a spirit, and when her body was over the century, until once again, but not. Then where did they? As you say. Hold on. If you're really Mythal, the elves making bodies out of the Titans, the Blight, Solus and the Veil, that was your fault. Am I now responsible for the events Mathal set in motion thousands of years before my birth? You sure don't have any problem claiming a name. Would you have realized had you not observed Solus's memories? I think not. That was like how El- Twas Mathal you heard. Her- What are you? I once feared Mithal would consume me were I to carry her, but was not so. What I now possess is but a sp- As to our admic- How can you carry Mithal's soul if you're not an elf? Her spark has sheltered within both elves and humans who were sympathetic to her in thought and circumstance. Mathal's last host was a woman wronged, trapped by those sworn to love her. We may readily imagine their kinship. I guess someone as powerful as Mithal could bond with whoever she wanted. Perhaps her death at the hands of the other elven gods forced her further from your people. So... There's the soul of an elven god inside you. How does that even happen? Mathal's last host was my mother, Flemeth. Oh. When I learned she intended me to become the next receptacle of an ancient god's soul, I feared naught would be left of my own. It inevitably came to pass on a deep night. I was awakened by the presence of a blaze of magic in the shape of a woman who both was and was not my mother. I don't think I'd recover from that. Neither did I, at the start. Mathal's memories were both gift and burden, this blazing woman told me, but I must accept them of my own accord. The decision was paralyzing. What would it mean to become such a host? What would be lost if I refused? In the end, it was something in my mother's voice which guided me. What was that? Regret. Not the regret of a god, but of a mother who knew she would never see me again. And so, my mind remains my own. What I gained was knowledge both Mathals and of those who bore her. You would have met Solus in the Inquisition, right? I did indeed. T'was before I possessed Mathal's memories. At the time, I thought Solus a scowling elven apostate whose sole passion was finding arguments. He heard me, in all my ignorance, expound on the histories of the elven people, explaining legends he had witnessed himself. <laughs> Bet he loved that. Tis not a memory that brings me pride. Do you have information we can use against Gilanine or Elganon? Or Solus? The last time Mathal faced Elganon and Gilanine, she was struck down by the very dagger you now carry. What about Solus? You may recall he murdered Mathal's former host to claim her godly might as his own. I hoard no untapped magical secrets, Rook. What I do possess, I share freely with you and the Veil Jumpers. All right. 
You didn't come out here just to tell me you're Mithal. I am not Mithal in her entirety, but yes. The Dreadwolf has occasion to visit you in dreams, where he portions out advice. And now, after finding his memories, you have peered into his deepest sorrows. Tell me then, what do you make of Solus? I should ask you. Mithal knew Solus better than anyone. I would influence your answer. Or do you mean to discover if I would stand directly against the Dread Wolf were there a need? Would you? I shall aid you in any way but that, even had I the power. What has passed between Solus and Mithal? I beg you, do not ask this of me again. Well, Solus killed the Titans, destroyed the ancient elves, and wants to ruin this world to bring back his old one. But he'll always make sure you hear just how sad he is about all the murder. If that is how you see him, perhaps the Dread Wolf's words have not served as well as he might wish. I'll say. It is not malice which made Solus your opponent, but conviction. A belief that only he may halt what he set in motion. Yet Solus was once beloved of Mithal. Tis his very loyalty and love for his people that led to the tragedy we now face. You may be in a position to determine how it ends, more so than either of you might realize. If that's what it takes. Such determination. Have you not even a tremor of doubt? Wouldn't do me any good. If you would shape the outcome of your battle, I've one last secret to share. When Mathal was struck down by the other gods, it was with her own Lyrium dagger, the dagger you now carry. Solus recovered it from Elgonon, and from it extracted a fragment of Mathal that had lain hidden within its depths. This fragment, a younger sister to the one I carry, if you will, resides here, in the crossroads. I can open the way for you, Find her, survive the encounter, and the essence you obtain will aid you in times to come. Another fragment of Mathal? In addition to the one inside you? You are aware of what the word fragment means, are you not? One small piece of many, formed when something greater is broken. The first elves were spirits, as you well know, and when a spirit is broken, it may shatter into pieces, each holding part of the original. Among the ancient elves who became known as gods, Dirthamon and his brother, Falondine, are but one example. You make it sound like this piece of Mythal is going to attack me. You know Solus, and have seen Elgonon, and memories of Mythal. They are creatures of emotion, as all spirits are. The fragment of Mathal that resides in me lived among mortals for thousands of years. She has grown wiser and more patient. This younger sister has not. She is the essence of Mathal as a god. She is unlikely to listen to polite requests, and though she is but a fragment of the goddess, the battle will test you sorely. If she's just going to attack us, why tell us about her at all? We have enough enemies already. A fragment of a god's essence is a powerful thing. It may give you options against Dalgonan and Gelanane, or against the Dreadwolf himself, should he prove as cunning and treacherous as ever. You would know this aspect of Mithal better than anyone. Could you try talking to her? I dare say she would attack me on sight. Spirits can't get along with fragments of each other. Spirits, certainly. But the aspects of a self-righteous god who have walked different paths for ages? One bears the insult of her betrayal by the Evanuris, and then by Solus, as fresh wounds, insult upon injury. The other once fell in love with an Alamari chieftain and lived happily in a swamp for centuries. 
Each reminds the other that another path existed, that they could have been wrong. And nothing angers Mathal like being wrong. What kind of spirit was Mathal before she became an elf? I know Solus is elven for pride. Mathal enjoyed ruling and having power, but it came not from the overweening desire to crush resistance, as is the case with Elganon. The emotion that inspired her might best be described as benevolence, a guiding hand inclined to kindness. But like any spirit, when angered or twisted against her purpose, a more violent aspect arose. Where the Dreadwolf's wisdom gave way to pride when the world did not meet his standards, Mathal's benevolence gave way to retribution. After all, when kindness fails, the guilty must be punished. If I were to try to talk with her, do you have any suggestions? She will demand respect, but detest flattery. She appreciates righteous anger, but will not tolerate pity. She is, for want of better phrasing, prickly. But if you are determined to try, then I wish you luck. Thank you for the information, Morrigan. There is one more thing, if I may. Something whispered not by myself, but Mathal. The elves have learned many of the glories and horrors of ancient Elvenan. Yet your people live in this world now as the old elves never could. Know it as they could not. There is your strength. Tis why you shall surpass what came before one day. Did Mithal see this? Is it a prediction? A hope from a mother to her distant children, no less beloved than any before them. Getting close to where Morrigan said that other fragment of Mithal was. Has to be her. Mythal herself. There's so much we could learn if... Do you think she might talk to us instead of attacking? Guess we'll find out. You are Rook. I have seen you and your companions. I never again expected to see my children in the Dreadwolf's crossroads. And you know who I am. Mithal. The part of me that survived betrayal by the rest of the Evanuris, if this can be called surviving. Solas. He drew me from the dagger that struck me down, but what is left of me can only survive here. I cannot return to the world, and even the true Fade is denied me. All I can do is watch. 
Have you come to seek the blessing of your god? Or did you come to ask your god to sacrifice herself to help you defeat the monsters Elganon and Gilanane have become? Morrigan was right. Talking to you is a waste of time. You listen to the human and the cowardly echo she carries. <laughs> Pathetic. You desire the essence of a god and think you deserve it. Then take it if you can! <laughs> Everyone get ready. Right. Of course, she's a big dragon. That has to be her. How should we do this, Rook? Do you think she'll talk to us? Guess we'll find out. You are Rook. I never again expected to see... Mithal. So... I cannot... Have you come... Or did you... I came here to ask for your help. The gods have endangered the world, and... You dare explain to me what they are doing. You are a thousand years from knowing the proper words. We saw Solus's memories, his regrets. You saw the recollection he cultivated like a tree twisting to catch the sun. You wish for my help? Convince me. Make your case, and I will yield my essence willingly to help you against Elganan and Gilanane. Fail. And I shall kill you for wasting my time, or you will kill me and obtain my essence in doing so. A harder-edged, simpler version. It has been centuries since a petitioner stood before me, so why should I help you? You can't want Elganan and Gilanane to rule the world. Not after what they did to you. I ruled alongside them for centuries. I bear them no love now, and they were ever flawed, as all rulers are. Yet they were better than the others who threatened your ancestors. Monsters like the Titans, or selfish fools like Anaris. Set the Blight aside, and tell me why I should help you topple your own gods. What they did to you was wrong. And you care so deeply for the injustice done to me thousands of years ago. You deserve justice. And they deserve to be punished for misusing their power and killing you when you tried to check them. Not bad, but not enough. Let us speak of something else.
Solus is helping me. Solus is using you. Besides, why should I esteem the Dreadwolf's approbation? <laughs> he rebelled against me. But the two of you stayed close. Until he killed the tattered fragment of me who hid inside the human swamp witch and wept. He keeps me here, yet has not visited since waking from his slumber. Tell me this. What should I have done when Solus turned against me after all we had been to one another? Solus made his choice, you made yours. It might have been cleaner for you to move on from him completely, instead of keeping your feelings for him. Just like that. Do you feel so little that you could follow such a path with someone you had known for centuries? You asked me what you should have done, not what I would have done. If you wish to prove your worth, you must do better than that. If I don't stop the gods, the whole world will be corrupted by the Blight. That is why you must succeed, so tell me why I must help you. We know the truth about the Blight. We know it came from the imprisoned dreams of the Titans after you and Solus defeated them. And? And the Blight only happened because of what you did. You need to fix your mistake. My mistake? I saved lives and ended a war, you petulant child. Your words are weak. Prove your worth or die. Everyone get ready. Wow. She's enormous. Has to be her. How should we do this, Rook? Do you think she'll talk to us? I. I. I ruled along. Yet. We don't need gods of any kind protecting us. Is that so? You are a petulant child who complains that your room does not have enough pretty toys. You've no idea how many monsters lurk outside the walls of the house your parents created to keep you safe. Your words are weak. Everyone get ready. Wow. She's enormous. The spirits around the Hall of Valor seem very invested in all of it. Spirits like fun too. Sure, but one of them was trying to take wages. So I said, I bet the demons in Marathas could teach you a thing or two about betting rings. The spirit said, I bet you're right, and handed me five gold. I feel a point was missed. Hey, you got five gold. Take the win.
So, this is the lair of a monster hunter. Monsters have theirs, I have mine. It's a bit open and exposed. I have a griffin. I have a demon. Then maybe we should lock your closet. A pleasure, Davrin. Hey, Harding. Oh, Rook, hi. Is there something you need? I thought you might want someone to talk to. Oh, Rook. That's sweet. I'm fine. Really. Really? Okay. Well, we're all here if you... Never mind. I can't lie. I feel awful. It's Solus's memory, isn't it? They stole Titan blood to walk the world like humans. And when the Titans didn't like that, they just took their spirits. Should I be angry or sad? Why aren't I angrier? It's a lot to handle. There's really no right way to feel. You've been through a lot. You're right. Maybe I just need time. And a snack. It's strange. I don't hate Solus for this, even though a part of me thinks I should. I don't even want revenge. Revenge won't bring the Titans back. It can't erase what happened. And the Inquisitor thinks Solus can be saved. And I want to try. But I... I just want to talk. As equals. I wonder if he's even capable. Solus was always distant. Guess it's hard to react when a magic rock's talking at you. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I'll be alright. I know. Your lace hearting child of titans. You can handle anything. <laughs> oh, shut up.
the ancient that sleeps here, dweller. Death and blight have not tempered its rage. Corruption? Undead? I'd say we found out who's responsible. Watch your head. Dinon! We ha have to destroy it! Take it down!
drawing power from the fate tag. It's not. Is it? Healing itself? That should weaken it. He's back.
Sleeps here, dweller. Death and blight have not tempered its rage. Corruption? Undead? I'd say we found out who's responsible. Dinon! We have to destroy it! Take it down!
I'm finished! Not again! How do we stop it? Weakening the fade test. Keep going! That should weaken it. Back. Time.